is there a new king of NYC? Move over, Mello. The Zinger outshining everybody last night as he went off for the Knicks in their win over the Trailblazers. Chris Ups Porzingis led all scorers with 31 points, his second 30-point game this season. Meanwhile, the leader of the team for the past five and a half years, Carmelo, only had 17 points. Max Kellerman, is it time for Mello to hand the reins over to Porzingis? It's been time. It has been time. Look, here's the bottom line. Carmelo Anthony is not now nor have ever has been good enough to be the best player on a championship team. We don't know what Porzingis will eventually be. Mm -hmm. But when you look at him, you can imagine if he develops to where you hope his potential can go, maybe one day he could be the best player on a championship team. He is seven foot three. That's a couple inches shorter than Yao Ming. That's a couple inches taller than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but he can face up, beat any big off the dribble, shoot the three on defense, patrol the paint. I mean, this guy, that's why they finish at the rim. They call him the unicorn. There has never been another player like him. And actually, Carmelo, when you think about how he's been best used throughout his career, he draws so much defensive attention because Stephen A., as you like to put out, he's an unstoppable scorer. So when he has the ball, he sucks people toward him. That means there are guys open and he can get them the ball. Now imagine a scenario where Carmelo's not the primary offensive weapon. They're running it through Porzingis. Now imagine how, how open Carmelo Anthony is, how much easier his job is. So even for the present, I like Porzingis as the number one option better, whether or not he's actually better than Carmelo yet, but I like the way the team functions when they go through more. And for the future, you have to develop him that way because he actually has the chance to bring you a championship, Carmelo Anthony does not. Not as the best player on the team. I disagree with you. And here's why I disagree with you. Because it's not really about that. When I think about Carmelo Anthony, what I will concede is this. As New York Knicks fans were groaning last night when Carmelo Anthony was looking for folks to clear out. They're like, nah, let's try something new here. Frank Isola wrote a column in, his new, in the New York Daily News. Frank Isola is the best. I mean, he's the voice of the New York Knicks. I don't give a damn what anybody say. He's that legit. He's been covering them for years. But when he points out that he's absolutely accurate when he says, we're tired as Knicks fans of seeing Carmelo Anthony in ISOs, holding the basketball. I'll give you that. He doesn't need to be doing that. But at the same time, you have to remember, Christopher Porzingis is, 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 Chris Porzingis is developing. What I mean by that is not just his basketball skills, but his body, the physicality. Mm -hmm. Wore down you know, last you know, year. He's, yeah. not, he's not the kind of guy like Kevin Durant was. Kevin Durant had ball handling skills. Kevin Durant could take it to the rack. Kevin Durant, as skinny as he was, just lethal in every state of the way because of the fluidity with his game and what have you. Christus Porzingis, Chris Porzingis, you can get at him. He's tall. He's 7'3", but you can get physical with him and wear him down earlier. He's really one of those guys you have to bring along. So what I'm saying is he should be shooting just as much as Carmelo Anthony, no question about it. Carmelo Anthony shouldn't be in ISOs holding the ball for 10, 12 seconds at a time without it moving. There's no doubt about that. That has to change. But you still want to use Carmelo Anthony as the number one option, Max, because you want him to be the draw. So Chris, this boy, Chris that Porzingis can sit up there and unleash. In other words, you be the drawer. You be that guy that everybody knows can put the ball and will put the ball up. But you, Carmelo Anthony, have to be sensitive enough to the greatness of this good this dude, which I think he is because he's only shooting 18 times a game, not 20 or 22 like he did in years past. He's shooting less. You know, make sure uh, Porzingis shoots more. Get him the ball. Get it out your hands quicker. But be the drawer, the decoy to facilitate Porzingis as opposed to him being a decoy for Melo. I, I don't like, agree with I that. Like, first of all, I, I don't like agree with that. I like Porzingis at the five and Carmelo at the four. Well, I'm saying, I don't I'm not like Porzingis at the four at all. I'm not talking about but position. Yes, I understand, I'm, I'm not yes. talking about offensive. I, I understand Just what you're saying. Right. Here's the thing about Porzingis people right. have to realize. Mm -hmm. I mentioned Yao Ming, mm -hmm. yeah, but his game is much more of a small man's than Yao Ming was. He's almost Yao Ming's size. He's a mismatch with everyone. I remember watching, whether he's playing the four or the five. Have you ever seen the legs on Yao Ming? It's like tree trunks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got, I mean, yeah. th he's, he's got, got massive he's not, legs. He's not as big in the yeah. butt as, as you want the, the, the center the to be. The legs, yeah, the cast, right. I mean, did, I mean, did, I mean, did, did you see? Yeah. I mean, okay. I mean the, when I saw him standing ball. next my, to Shaq, I couldn't believe, though, him just dwarfing Shaq. Is, well, you remember what Yao said about playing Shaq, though. He said it was like playing a meat wall the first time he played him. There's no Shaq. But Porzingis... Porzingis is a mismatch with everyone. When he's playing the four, I remember them playing the Cavs last year, and he's matched up with Kevin Love. Mm -hmm. And it's like, look at this. Kevin Love has nothing for him. There's nothing you can do. It's a joke because he's almost a foot taller. He's almost a foot taller than Kevin Love. Nine inches taller in reality than Kevin Love. And people say, well, that's ridiculous. Of course it's a mismatch. Why? They both play the four, you're, you're, and, he, and he mismatches with centers the same you're, way. You're thinking, about, you're thinking about his ability 
I'm thinking about his physicality. And over the course of 82 games, if you're that primary option, you know, there are legitimate concerns as to whether you can handle that. We know Melo can. It's just that Melo, because of what you describe Porzingis to be, has to be sensitive to that and, as a result, has to modify his game in a way where you're still a number one offensive guy, but you got to have, like, a one and one A. It can't be you one, him be, you being A, him being B, and you not giving up the ball. This. you got to give it up. In the quicker. present, and you, but you still should be the number one. In option. the present, you might be right. Carmelo's probably yeah, in the present. I'm only talking about the present. Carmelo's probably still better than Porzingis. Next year, we ain't talking but about what this. I'm saying is you got to put the cart before the horse with this because yes, Melo's still better than Porzingis, most likely. I mean, we'll see what happens if you fed Porzingis all day, but that's really not what it's about this year. They they could have a chance to make the playoffs. They're not going to make much noise once they get there. But going forward, you need to make Porzingis the man if you want this thing to work eventually with the Knicks. And I think the sooner that starts, the better. I'm saying, and he's right there yeah, right I'm now. Saying, I'm saying you need Melo mm -hmm. to assist in elevating him to that point. And by the way, the Knicks are better without Joakim Noah in the lineup. Yes. He's been out sick a couple of games because these guys, Quinn and the others, are coming in. They're subbing for him. They're more potent offensively, which has also helped Porzingis. We can't forget all of that because when you're 7'3 and you've got that much legs, but you're relatively skinny, you got to remember, cats can get at you physically to wear you down. And over the course of 82 Seven, games, three. you can't handle that. Every time you need Joe Kim Noah, uh -huh. who was once a fantastic player, I thought, but every time he goes to the bench, the Knicks function better. Well, I'm, I'm worried about that because you gave him 72 for four years. That was a mistake this at is, the I'm time. Just, I'm just saying, that's damn. Going yeah, from that, Robin Lopez not, now to Joe not, Kim now is a mind, trade down. I would not mind if this were year three of his contract and we saw something like this. But to see this in I mean, 14 year. games into the season of a four-year, $72 yeah. million dollar deal, I'm very concerned, but I want to hold out hope for Joe Kim because I like him. Make Porzingis the man. What are you waiting for?